Hello everybody and welcome in. Yes, this is not looking like what you're expecting when you clicked on this video. Hmm. Yzma. Let us look at Yzma. What we're going to do, we're going to throw Yzma into this team here and see how she does in what would have been a competitive team. Yes, that's not fair me taking Hercules out, but... The one thing, I think the only thing Yzma is good for at the moment will be becoming fodder for Panic and Pain to help Hades pop off. That's, that's as sad as that is, that is, uh, that is the truth. So, reason being, I kind of talked over this earlier on my patch notes video. If you haven't seen that and you want to go check it out, then go there. But she is the slowest, one of the slowest, one of the slowest characters in the game. 85 speed at tier 7. Yes, she gets a big speed boost at tier 8 like Pocahontas does. Pocahontas was also one of the slowest. And they have four lots of speed gear. But that means they're useless until tier 8. So, one, two, three, four speed gears and that's going to pop her up for 95 and 105 and then go up to 112 and then 119 so still actually on the slow side as well so not even as fast as Pocahontas so yikes that's she's still definitely on the slow side of thing but her kit is absolutely horrendous um I, for those of you who don't know, I played the beta, I was a beta player, the back when the game was different, completely different, it was real time, her kit was a decent, good, very good kit for back then. Now, trash, dealing low amounts of damage, 20% chance for Quantum Assist, which is trash, and level level 4, only a small chance extra, that this needs to be like a major rehaul, needs to do a whole lot more of everything. Um, her special here, this is a single target heal, which is a little heal, when you've got Baymax doing AoE cleanse, AoE purge, AoE heal, all at the same time, she does it to one character, and then gives a slight speed increase, that's, yikes, pretty, pretty trash, and it's a three turn cooldown, like this, as trash as this is, this needs to be like a no cooldown at all, just use it whenever you want. Um, I hope they do something better with this, hopefully they make it like an AoE, like not AoE, maybe, maybe a, and adjacent, and then just bump up the damage to like single target value. <sighs> it needs, it needs a lot. This here, with how slow she is, maybe a bit better at tier 8, but it's also got a massive cooldown on it. And it's kind of like, man, you could put a cooldown on one of the slowest characters in the game. Doesn't do much damage, like, does does only just more damage than her basic for an ability. It is going and attacking a, fl a flanking row, and then it drops their speed meter by 50%. But that's one of the best things. But the problem is, it also gives extra bonus magic to Kronk, which hopefully Kronk will get a refresh as well. But for now, this needs to be tons better. With her being so slow you'll pretty much like never see these abilities actually getting off and it's sad and here she has a passive 25 percent chance that this will pop off and actually happen the chances for this need to go up a lot this needs to be like guaranteed every turn by level four at least be guaranteed and then you have a red vial or green vial um to do a bad effect on the opponents or get a good effect in healing um that'll be amazing well, amazing that'll be good That'll be good and actually make her the passive usable. But we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what she does. But at the moment, I have a feeling all she will be used, all she can be used for, is a little bit of fodder to hopefully drop, to hopefully let Hades pop off. So we're going to jump in, we're going to see what she is like, how slow she is, what potential she has. And this is Yzma. This is Yzma right now, before buffs, before buffs, so hopefully after buffs, she'll become amazing, hopefully just, uh, she needs to stack more bad effects, a whole lot more, like just tons, tons more bad effects, she needs a whole lot more speed, um, although she was only usable at tier 8, yes there are some characters like that, but that's that's kind of kind of sad and trash um if you want if you want maybe i can just speed boost her but look look how slow she is compared to everyone else 
her speed bar is way down here. Even now, it's nearly full, nearly full. Like, like, yikes! It is like it is the yikes state of of this. Baymax, oh, Baymax, <laughs> how could you? Ah, it's the worst. Yes, resisted Hades, resisted. Ah, uh, that's that's not good. Not good at all. Panic and pain. Yeah. This is this is gonna be absolutely trash, just because. Just because. I'm just I'm just giving this a panic and pain just so I can get them out of the polymorph as well as give them haste, which also gives hero haste, and then they just got purged, so it was a waste. <laughs> but um, the hope the hope is there. The hope is there. I want to get rid of the rid of the evades before Hercules is a turn because I don't want to give him extra charges and boost him up more than I need to. Um, that is what I do not want at all. And that was that was actually perfect for me. But the haste on him there just just really really saved it. But you can see here, Hercules popped off, had a few turns. Hero, two turns. Panic and pain, artificially. But they still had two turns. <laughs> um, like, you'll see these characters popping off before Yzma is even nearly ready to have turns. And that is, that is just, that's a crime. It is, it is sad. It is sad to see. Um, I am going to... Polymorph Baymax. I don't want Baymax doing anything. I just want to sit there, just sit there and hide away. But Yzma, Yzma can just hide away there. She can try and get a turn, but you can see everyone just lapping her. Chris, welcome in. For any of you guys who don't know, I do stream on Twitch. Love to have you and see you around there. Link is in the description below. And Chris, a fellow streamer. Um, who runs a whole lot of PvP tournaments on his own? So, which if you're excited for these in-game tournaments from Glue, these leaderboards, I am excited. Oh, here we go! Look at that. She she finally has a turn. The 25% chance happens, activates, attacks, and is resisted. Yikes! That is that right there. Disappointing. Look at look how small that that, that does an itty bitty little heal. That, 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 that's like the worst like isn't, isn't that the worst one of the like as a healer in the game to be a healer her healing needs to be like astronomical she needs treatment like she needs some treatment just like Pocahontas give Yzma the Pocahontas treatment with her heals and maybe add a cleanse on top of that and and now we're then we're then we're talking. Now we're now we're like running and and doing some interesting things. Um, but until then, it's kind of be like you know what, Isma's gonna have nothing to go like, and she's gonna struggle to get another turn. And that is gonna be oh the evade no no ah oh, that's that's just worst time. Worst time. All right, let's see. Let's see if at least we can maybe pop out, and uh, yeah, not enough. Not enough. All right, but we'll see if if Yuzma can have another turn. Come on, I just I just want like I'm expecting, fully expecting Yuzma to hopefully just drop and get wiped out. And at least, at least help to activate Panic and Pain, help to activate Hades. But no one even wants to touch her. They're like, everyone knows how terrible she is. There's no point touching her. She can't, like, she can't even heal Ursula enough to survive. As a healer. She, she gonna need a lot, she's gonna need a lot of a buff to make her relevant. And yes, give me that empower. That's what that's what I was hoping for Yzma to do. Just drop, to drop and empower, drop and empower Hades. That's what I want. That's what I wanted to see. 
So, since that's not happening, let's just pop on out with Hades. Boom, town. Yes, with this worms, it's working. I wonder if they fix that. Did they fix that in this patch notes? That is the first time that has worked in a long time. In a long time. At, off the back of Hades AoE. I think they've just fixed it. Ooh, if they've just fixed it. That ability off the back of Hades, that's gonna be amazing. That is amazing. And now Hades is gone and <laughs> um, Yikes. That is and now he's gone and that's just <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. But we we still have hope. Let's let's let Yzma win this one. Let us let Yzma win this one. Didn't work that time. Yes, it did not work that time. So it is not working all the time. Maybe, maybe it's just still just broken and half working. Um, let's see. Yzma gets a turn and guess what? Look at that cooldown. Look at that cooldown. Two more turns to wait and see how long it, see how long it takes for it. Like, come on. Come on. That right there has got to be like one of the worst one of the worst things around. Alright, do we want to... I'm just going to go offensive here. I'm going offensive here. Just because... Just because I want to try and proc this while... No! Die! Yes! I just wanted to get that done before Hercules had his turn. Don't crit everybody. If if Yzma can pull this out and win against, boom! Ah, oh, he's invincible. No, that was my that was my only chance to pull it out. Yeah, that was that was my only chance just to pull it pull the game out. Yikes! He's going after he's going after Yzma because of this. <sighs> That's amazing. Well, guess what? We are going to be purgy purging you and going after <laughs> the last one left. Come on, Yzma. 1,000 damage. Boom. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Alright, what we're going to do here, I'm just going to get this up and at least hopefully be able to do a bit more damage here and get rid of this, hopefully. That's what we want to do. Yes, give me those crits. Um, I need to just chew my way through those evades. And hopefully, if Yzma can survive, you might be able to just see her pulling the lever. One more turn. She needs one more turn after this. Oh, she got it. So this is, this is, do I want to heal next to nothing? Or do I want to pull the lever? So this is, this is pulling the lever. Decrease their magic by one. Oh no, it doesn't. It decreases their turn by 50%. And that's it. At least you got to look at it. That is it. That is that is all she can do. Yikes! Yikes! Even making that ability happen versus a meta Hercules. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That right there is a. You should, you all, everyone who's watching this, consider yourselves lucky. Consider yourselves lucky that you even got to see that ability in action versus a meta team. She even survived long enough to use it. I was expecting her to have one more turn. But she, I guess she just popped off a little bit more than I was expecting. Let us just, I'm just going to be a troll here. And I'm not going to let Hercules win. I'm not going to let Hercules win. Nobody needs Hercules winning. Hercules! Alright, let's get a purge. Yes! Get rid of that crit. Get that stealth. Yes! Get that evade. <laughs> Come on now, Panic and Pain. Stall him out. For the sake of Yzma, not losing a mount, which is not going to happen, but 
to to make a Hercules go up against a Hercules team and last this long with Isma. I consider that a win. I consider that a win. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed your little insight into Yzma. We actually got to see both of her abilities, unlike what we did with Gaston. So that is a plus. You got to see how terrible she is. There is hopefully going to be a lot of potential there if they make her. Now let's talk about how I think they could, what what they could do with her, if they make her like a super heavy debuffer, purger, cleanser. Give her some treatment like she used to have, so you can use either use her special experimental um, connection use that so you can use it offensively or defensively either heal your team and and um, uh, cleanse heal and cleanse your team or purge and debuff the opponent that'll be nice give her that take it just completely take away the cooldown off this ability here completely take the cooldown off it add a little bit of something else in there as well and then that could be okay left as is um the 50 percent um sp sp uh, sp speed meter let's get some words out here shd um dropping that like that'd be nice if you can actually get here you can maybe you could maybe even just hero give her a turn first off the bat if she didn't have any cooldowns drop a entire flanking row like especially if like baymaxes and stuff are taunting drop the whole front flanking row of characters 50 percent boom they they lose some turns all of your turns go up and if that happens i i see some usability in her and then do the same with her passive. Make it, oh well, maybe. Make make it a little bit better. Take the chance way up. It needs to be a 100% chance. Activating every single turn at max. Maybe at max, give it like 20%, 50%, 75%, 100% or something like that. Is what I think would be good to actually like do this. It does hardly any damage, that's fine. But if it's doing a little bit of damage plus the debuffs, that's good. Then if you can add the others into it, but then the, the, the basics still needs a big touch up as well. So I can't wait to see what they do with her. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the description below and we'll see you all next time.